Jasmine Queen. As the winner of ABC's My Diet is Better Than Yours, I know how difficult it is to keep your healthy eating habits in check. But today, I'm going to let you in on a little secret I learned from Dawn. It's fun and easy to make my favorite recipes with superfood substitutions. Thanks to Ingles, I'm going to cook with you today. I'm going to show you how to swap those fattening ingredients with my superfoods, bringing my favorite dishes to your kitchen table. We're starting out at Ingles, getting the ingredients to make my cauliflower mac and cheese. Ingles has an incredible variety of pasta. I mean, look at all of these options. They even have specialty pasta like we're going to use today. I picked this sprouted grain pasta because it's high in fiber, high in protein, and it only takes four and a half minutes to cook. So this is my pasta of choice today. For a full list of all the ingredients, check out the shopping list underneath the video player. You can print a list out and take it to the store with you, or you can pull it up on your phone. Now, let's get cooking. We are back from Ingles and ready to make my cauliflower mac and cheese. We already have the pasta boiling. We're actually using sprouted pasta today. It is high in protein, is high in fiber. It actually takes less time to cook and it tastes delicious. So we have our noodles cooking and Right here, we have a head of cauliflower, and we've steamed the cauliflower. I have a steamer here. If you don't have a steamer, you can use the microwave or you can boil the cauliflower. We just wanna make sure that it's soft enough that we can puree it and make a sauce out of it. So we're gonna take our head of cauliflower, and I'll tell you, using cauliflower in mac and cheese is a great way to sneak veggies in on your kids. They'll never know that it's in there because this tastes so good. So we're going to put our cauliflower in here. And then we have about 10 ounces of cheese here. We're only going to use about 8 ounces because for the other two, we're going to place it on top of the mac and cheese and the end. So we're going to go ahead and put this in here. And this recipe doesn't use as much cheese as your normal mac and cheese recipes use. So that's going to make it a little bit lower in calories. We have a cup of skim milk. If you don't use milk, you could also substitute that for a plant-based milk if you wanted to. All right, so we're gonna use a stick mixer and we're gonna mix this up. And we're gonna do it till it gets nice and creamy. The cauliflower is still hot, so it's actually melting the cheese for us. We have a really good creamy sauce here. You would never know there's cauliflower in this. All right, we're gonna check on our pasta. It only has to cook for about four and a half minutes. Before I learned to swap my food with better ingredients, I would use regular pasta and probably a whole block of cheese and definitely no cauliflower. So this is really a healthy version of one of my favorite meals and it's definitely one of my daughter's favorite meals. I've got our noodles cooked and strained. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to put our sprouted noodles into the cheese sauce. If you prefer not to use sprouted noodles, you could also use brown rice noodles or you could use quinoa noodles. Either one of those would work. So we're gonna pour this right into our cheese and cauliflower sauce. And we're just gonna stir it up. You know, these noodles have a little bit of a brown tint to them. So if you don't like that, you could always use a different kind of noodle. And now we're just going to pour it into our dish here. And I'm gonna make sure I get all of the cheese sauce. There we go. And then I'm gonna to top this with my remaining cheese. And then we're just gonna put it in the oven on broil for just a few minutes just to get this cheese melted on top. All right, so it cooked for about five minutes just to get the cheese nice and bubbly on top. Oh, it looks delicious. Still creamy. No one will ever know this is healthy. So we use sprouted noodles instead of regular pasta. We added the cauliflower so you can get your veggies in. And we only used about 10 ounces of cheese, which is a lot less than you would normally use in regular mac and cheese. And we also use skim milk. 
So here we have our healthy version of mac and cheese. We have cauliflower mac and cheese. We're out of time for today, but I want to thank you so much for joining us here at the Ingalls Table. Remember, you can find this recipe, videos, photos, and more on the website at ingallstable.com. Until next time, I'll see you online.